I want us to talk a little bit about the, this crisis that uh, it's brewing in West find Africa. ourselves in. Eh? Yes. Mali, Guinea, Burkina Faso, and now Niger. Yes, Senegal okay. is also. For the past seven days, there's been a, a demonstration and routing in Senegal. It's not on the it's not on on, on the internet because the, the Senegalese government has blocked internet in Senegal. Wow. So yes, so uh, that's why it's not on the internet. But the youth in Senegal are, are are up in arms with the government, like like all over Francophone Africa. Mm. The wind of change, change blowing, and and this is what this is what I expect from every youth. See, we don't have to sit down and fold our arms and watch our future get thrown away like that. Yeah. See, um, look, take N N Niger for 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 an example. Yeah. The country that is rich in gold, uh, gypsum, uranium. In fact. The uranium from every three, one out of every three bulb in France is powered by yeah. uranium from Niger. Yeah. Now, now when I when I when I when I when I'm driving in town mm. and I see Nigerians begging for arms on the street, yeah, and cutting fingernails and toenails for a living, mm. I ask myself, I mean, what 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 kind of wickedness is this? Yeah. And that is what we, we've been dealing with for the past uh, millennia. Yeah. yeah. For, 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 for the African politicians not to realize that what happened in the Arab region, the Arab Spring, we are not see, and, and, and that is what I, I blame our politicians for, for not being able to stand up to the West. If you if you if you if you if you make yourself as a, a, a as a dog, you will be taken for hunting. You'll okay. Now, hunting. now now I I would I would I would say this right. Okay. Our politi our politicians. Yes. For me, it's not that the they can't stand up to the West. Okay. They are doing it deliberately because they are see okay let, let me let me correct myself the west see the west is doing what they're doing yes for their own benefits for their survival okay that's one thing okay yes. see nobody like when i started this this uh think big for africa yes. okay i wrote a book about that title Okay, uh, is a, 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 an ebook. Okay, which yeah. thousands of young Africans took. Okay, yeah, got a copy. See, I said this. China, Russia, the West. They are not Africa's friends. No, but no. they are not. But they are not Africa's enemies. Yes, they are friends of themselves. Yes. They are doing what is best for them. Exactly. They are doing what is best for them. Okay? So, if we expect them to stop doing what is best for them and do what is best for us, we are deceiving ourselves. Exactly my point. And that is where the African politicians come in. Okay. Because... If you are if you are France, and in and 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 Togo is fighting for independence from you, and after the independence, you you are able to convince them to sign this exactly eleven, 11 agreement with you. Now, now let let's say okay, okay, I want my freedom, so I I, I I'm signing it. And then I get my freedom and I say, okay, I'm a sovereign state. I'm not going to get bind by this agreement anymore. I want to get my own currency, get my own central bank and all these things so that I can work to satisfy my people. Yeah. And that's where 
these leaders get killed. There are several, there are several examples. If you're not, if you're not killed, you are, you are, you are dethroned by a, a, a coup, a, a, a coup through okay. a coup. Now, now the, the question is, for the, for the coup, yes. who are the people who are? Okay, dethroned? so, so that's 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 has, that's has all, always been our problem as a people. Okay. And 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 I I am happy that Chenu Achibe said it in things fall apart. Mm. See when your when when your brothers join arms with a foreigner, it becomes difficult to fight the foreigner because and and it happens during the Ashanti, the Anglo Ashanti War. Yeah, it happened. There was a similar incident that happened during the Ashanti Anglo War. When the, when the British people brought the slaves that they are taking from Africa back to Africa to fight the Ashantis, the Ashantis were a bit hesitant. They were a bit hesitant because they felt these are our people. We, 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 how are we going to kill them? But and then you see, but, but see, but Ashanti <laughs> fight other, other African tribes and kill them. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> So, for instance, the British, the British Empire in Gold Coast, yes, will go all the way to Nigeria mm. and bring the the Hausa, the Hausa people, yeah, fight the Ashantis. Yeah. So, so they are they are in a way <laughs> yeah. making us each other. Exactly. Yeah, so if you're an Ashanti, okay. if you're an Ashanti that lived in that era, you're gonna have problem with Hausa people. Yeah. And that is why the the Ashanti Empire. Didn't accept Islam. Mm. In fact, we had a king who secretly was practicing Islam, and when we found out, we dethroned him. Okay. Because of what? <laughs> because of what? <laughs> because, of what because, because you they did it. They did that. I have I have a lot of images. I have a lot of images from that from that era where they would use the Hausa troops from yeah. come. All the way they bring them to uh, to Cape Coast, mm. and then they, they take them to their uh, to Ashanti and yeah. fight the Ashanti. But when they see when the Ashanti people see them, they see them as their own people, their own. Yeah. Because when I see you, I, I see you as a brother. I don't see anything. Yeah. I see, see a brother here. So how am I going to pick up a gun? <laughs> <laughs> see, so so the point the point is this. The point is this. See, for me. Uh, unfortunately, the francophone countries in West Africa sign the agreement with, uh, with France. Yes. Uh, and they have uh, ab abided by that agreement for the last uh, 60 years. Yes, yes. To the detriment. Of their own of people. Their people. Yes. Now, have we said that? Yes. How many of the leaders in those countries mm -hmm. that are not millionaires in dollars? Uh, all of them. Okay. They are all millionaires. Okay. Yes. So the point is, my point is this: uh, the leaders. Do not have the incentive to rebel against France and say no, we don't, we can't do this. Yes, they 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 are they don't want to lose power, and they don't want to be killed. They don't want to die for their people. Okay, they don't want to be killed. They don't want to lose lose power, and they want to amass wealth. Yes, for their family. Okay, so see, because if if the leaders, the leaders, let's say they sign just to get out, uh, France to leave, to, to give their independence. Yeah. If they have stood up together to say, yes, no. Hold on, no, no let, me, let me say something. Yeah. See, before they would sign this agreement, mm. France made a, an example out yes. of safety. Yeah. When Sierra Leone got its independence. Yeah. And that that scared a lot of Francophone countries because yeah. when, when they say, when they said they're not they're not signing, yes. Yes. 
France, this is what France did. They, they blocked sewages with concrete. They slaughtered animals. They, they burned down government buildings. They, like they made an example out of Sierra Leone. Yes. And, and it scared a lot of freedom fighters. So, because these infrastructures, we, that is what we're going to need to build on, upon our whatever okay. we want to do. Okay. And you join them. Yeah. These are yeah. infrastructures that we built with our own resources. You didn't yeah. bring the resources from Europe. Yeah. And because we want you to go to where you came from, you say, no, I built them, so I'm destroying them. Okay. So, okay, don't destroy them. We need them. See, now, see, it's, it's a, uh, what's the word now? They, they, their thinking was not long term. No, it was not. Okay, their it thinking wasn't. wasn't long term. It was not. So if they thought, they thought, they thought, okay, let's sign it, and then later go against the agreement. Okay, I, I've never gone, gone against the agreement. They have tried. Yes, down, down the down the line. They have, tried, they have tried, but they are, they have not been successful well, with it. But, but it, and, it it looks like that, it looks the like fact that, the fact that. We have left this battle for Francophone Africa is what sickens me. See, um, there was once a time that ECOWAS wanted to get a single currency. Yeah, for the sub exactly. The ECO. Yeah. Why hasn't that been possible? Okay. okay. If that becomes possible, it, it will go against France. Mm -hmm. So, France is not going to support that. Yes. And France is ever ready to back any presidential candidate who is ready to do its bidding. Okay. I, I, hold, hold on, hold on. See, for me, for me, mm -hmm. I'm a guy who holds, I hold myself accountable for things. You do? I, I do, and those things I should do, and I, 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 I didn't do. You didn't do, yeah. See, we need to hold ourselves accountable. We see, are, we have to. See, see, life is, if you want to progress, life is hard. Life is war. And you need to take serious, hard decisions. That is what our leaders are not prepared for, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, Ghana, Nigeria. Uh, Liberia. As, as we uh, speak, the Gambia. I have, I have an intel. I when we are done, I'll com I will I will confirm and, and see if it's correct. Okay. But I am told that uh, there's uh, an, an army mobilizing in Cameroon. I don't I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I, I, based based on what I've heard in the last uh, day, uh, it looks like uh, Nigerians. Are not supporting yes, and it's, any not any with, invasion. Uh, yes, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't yes. Me, me, personally, I don't like military rule. Okay, I don't like one because where would Nigeria is today was uh, caused by military, military rule. Okay, and two, and two. Uh, even though we have not made a lot of progress, we have maintained one thing. We don't fight each other, country by country. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We have internal uh, tribal, tribal wars. wars. Okay. We have a, uh, what's it called again? This Boko Haram. Yeah. We have all, all those things, but. The hardest Nigeria has never fought Togo or, or Ghana or okay. Benin. Or, yeah. See, and I don't want us to start. Yes. See, and that's, that's, that's one thing I love about Africa because um in the past, in the past it was like that. I mean, and 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 that that, that, that was okay because that was the norm back then. I mean, conquering and that was the norm. Yeah, but now 
that now we are realizing that um, when it comes to warring, it is synonymous with Europe. <laughs> 